Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafting with Holly. I am so excited to pop in here because I just wanted to share the beautiful artwork that has been created with Honey Bunny. And I happen to have the card workshop in front of me right now. This is the project that I work on when we do our monthly Palooza events. And for those of you that are familiar with these events, Tina Lovell, Dana Swadling, and myself put on a two-day event in Facebook. In fact, I actually wanna bring your attention to where it is. We invite you when you make a purchase from one of our websites, and if you're on my YouTube channel and you're watching my video, you would shop with me on my Close to My Heart website and purchase the supplies that you need for the Honey Bunny projects. I'm gonna share with you the card making workshop. I'm gonna share with you Dana's workshop from Close to My Heart and how she up levels it. And then I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on uh, Tina's four page workshop. Sorry, it's a mouthful. But we have a private Facebook group that starts on April 5th. We bring you in a week early and then we create two days worth of amazing content. And this is just a snapshot of what the agenda looks like. We do an opening and then Dana teaches her three pages. And then Tina shares what she's been up with too with a fun little interactive video sharing the projects that she's been working on lately. And then I kick off Saturday sharing what I've been working on. And then we watch Tina's two layouts and then her third and fourth layout. And then I share my card workshop. And that is the two-day event. And it's super simple. You just go into the Honey Bunny collection on my website, hollymv.closetomyheart.com or ctmh.com. And you can look at the projects and products that are available. Now, understand that Honey Bunny, the scrapbooking workshop is coming in April. And then the card making workshop is coming in March. So just keep watching my website for these items that have sold out. I know that the Honey Bunny dots are coming as well. And those are supposed to be here in March. No, they're coming in April. So these items as well, the scrapbooking thin cuts, this one is coming in March. And then the card making stamp and thin cut is also coming in March. So the products have been well received. You still can get the Honey Bunny paper pack with sticker sheet. I'm gonna post the supply list in this YouTube channel. You can also access it in the Crafting with Holly group. I will click on that right here. You can go into the Crafting with Holly Facebook group, go under Featured, and if you scroll, you will see the post that I did, and I am so sorry because I'm on, um, let's see if that's gonna work. I'm on my Surface, and usually when I'm on my phone, ah, okay, let's see, ah, we're getting there, there we go. Um, you'll see the supply list for the Honey Bunny, and you'll see these are what you need to do Tina's class, these are the supplies that you need to do Dana's, and then these are the supplies that you need to do my workshop. And then Dana was so generous and created a bonus project for us all, and this is the bonus project and the supplies that you need for that, and it will make these beautiful interactive Two Sheet Wonder cards. So lots of great stuff going on for Honey Bunny. And again, I thank you for your patience with shipping, and I thank you for your patience when items have sold out. It is unprecedented right now, as you all know. Um, the other thing that I wanted to just bring your attention to is the Cardstock Carnival is still going on in full swing. These Carnival die cut bundles, these are amazing, you guys. I just posted a video in my Facebook group showing how awesome these are, and they are prepackaged individually in each of the colors, and they are absolutely amazing, and they're 30% off right now through the end of March. And then last but not least, if you go to the clearance section, there are a ton of stamp set and thin cuts at 50% off. And you can just scroll through and see what is available. There's just a few left, but the sale was amazing. And you can go in here. There's also some thin cuts that are on sale, uh, deeply, deeply discounted. 
So I wanted to bring your attention to that. It is now featured under the clearance section. So there's still quite a bit of really awesome stamp and thin cuts available that you can get at 50% off. So I wanted to walk you through the card project that I am featuring for Honey Bunny. I teach a good, better, and best option. And this is the stamp set. This is the amazing thin cut. And this is why this little guy has sold out so many times. It's because this thin cut is absolutely amazing. And look at the detail of those butterfly wings. They are so precious. So this is card number one. And this is the basic option. And it is absolutely stunning just the way it is. This is the better option, and I added glitter paper in black to the body and glitter paper behind this banner. And again, just kept it very sweet and simple. And then this is my fun interactive piece, and it opens up and it can be a gift card holder, or you could put additional comments inside for your recipient, and you still have room to write a sentiment inside. Card number two right here, look at how precious. This is stamped on pattern paper and then solid cardstock. So absolutely so many amazing possibilities with this butterfly alone. Adding just again a piece of black glitter paper behind the peach mat and then the body is black glitter paper. And then here is the best option. And again, it's just creating another fun, just interactive element by putting gift card holders in there with birthdays coming up in my family and then graduations. I thought it would just be so perfect to have some more options for gift card holders. This is card number three. Again, look at how precious those sweet little butterflies are. I just love them. And then adding that little bit of black just truly elevates this and just pops it, right? And then here is the best option. And again, it's just another place to put a gift card or again, additional sentiment or even a picture if you would like. And then I always love our slimline cards. This is card number four. And I love this card just the way it is. I think it is so pretty. But look what happens when you add that black glitter paper to those bodies. They just sparkle and shine. And then again, adding that piece of black glitter paper behind the honey butter polka dot. And then I have to do a huge shout out to Dana Swadling for helping me create this fabulous uh, easel card for a slimline. I've never done that before and I think it turned out just fabulous. So that is the best option that I will be teaching you. And again, look at how fun those black glitter paper is behind those butterflies. So that is the card workshop. I have so much fun every month just coming up with great ideas to put these cards over the top so that you get the best value out of them. And then this is Dana's workshop. So she takes the three double pages from the corporate workshop and she just amplifies them to the 10th degree. And she did not disappoint this time. Oh my goodness, the flip flaps that she's added here. She's reimagined a few of these pages just to make them pop. But she took the butterflies from my card workshop and she added them to these pages. And oh my word, you guys, you are gonna absolutely love these. So this is the first page. Here are those sweet little butterflies on here. And I love the banners. These are part of the actual workshop but she added the glitter paper, which just elevates the pages and makes them come to life. She created different clusters than what the corporate workshop looked like. And then she's gonna teach this really fun paper weaving technique. And hers are a little bit more uh, tight and brought together. And I really loved how she created these fabulous weaves on these pages. And they are just really gonna be such a fun technique to teach you guys next month. So this is layout number one. I don't have pictures for this one yet, but I do have them for layout three and two. And this happens to be three. They're kind of backwards, so I apologize for that. But I loved adding these butterflies. Again, they just were a perfect little match. Look at this fun little journaling strip that is just gonna get tucked in right down in here. I love these clusters. I love how she repositioned the, the um, stickers and the die cuts in this and just really brought your eye to the photos, which is what it's all about, right? 
loved layering these stars too and just adding some of those little accents with the dots that are featured in that. And then I wanted to share with you how I'm going to use these pages. We just got back from Disney World, the girls and Tom and I, and we had so much fun eating at Disney Springs. And so that's what these pictures are from, is from Disney Springs. So I'm going to just show you how great non-Easter, non-summer pictures actually. Whoops, not the right adhesive that I wanted. Here we go. These are non-Easter pictures. Um, they're just literally from February and the sun was so beautiful and it was such a gorgeous day, but I love how our pictures are outside. So this paper that has that watercolor kind of sky look to it is perfect for these. And I'm just gonna lift up my paper here because we did some paper tearing and I wanna make sure that my photo gets underneath there. But we went to the Dole station. Um, it's called Swirls on the Water, and we got the Dole Trio and tried them, and we absolutely loved them. Look at how beautiful those gorgeous de desserts are, and they look so beautiful on this paper. So I'm gonna put the menu so that we don't ri forget what those flavors were, and those are gonna come over here and get placed right there. And then we also, and you know what? I think what I forgot to do, um, we went to the Coca-Cola stand too and sampled all the different pops. And poor Paige, she had her eyes closed. But you know what? This was such a great picture of the girls that I'm still gonna use it, even though her eyes are kind of halfway open. It was so bright. It was so hard for her to see. But um, this is going to be the flip flap on top of, actually, it's gonna go on top of there. And then this picture is gonna go there. And you know what, I had another picture over here. What did I do with it? Let me see if I can find it over here in my pile. Ah, here it is right here. It was the empty desserts. And actually, I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this one out here. And I'm gonna just trade these around because it actually there was another picture that I had but I can't find it, so. We're gonna just improvise. And now you can see this is how I put together my pages. I improvise all the time when I can't find something. But there's the original picture of the desserts and then there's our <laughs> emptied ones as you can see. We loved them, right? Um, oh my goodness, they were so delicious. So that is gonna go there in a flip flap and then this one is gonna come right over here and then the picture of Tom and I drinking our fun different Coca-Cola beverages is gonna go right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna stick this one right down in here. And then I've got my journaling done. Let me just tuck this in behind these little banners. I purposely didn't take, and that one needs to be trimmed, that's okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to trim it really quickly because my paper trimmer. Is right here. Sorry about this, you guys. Okay, so we're going to move that to the three or the two and three quarters of an inch mark. Just like that. And then let's just trim this off from the bottom. It's okay that you don't see our legs as much. Here we go. And I'm going to tuck this in right down in here, just like so. Perfect. And then I have the backings from the foam tape, and I'm just going to pull those off just like that. And there you go, you've got my pages, my pictures now on these pages and I love this and I will end up putting this flip flap on the outside of the page protector so that people can flip that up and see. And then there is a little journaling. So that is the third layout and now this is what the second layout looks like, and I'm gonna use completely different pictures. These are my sisters and I, 
at the Butterfly House on Mackinac Island. And for those of you that live in Michigan and are familiar with Mackinac Island, it's one of our favorite places. And it was the first time my sister Kristen had ever been there. And my sister Amanda was a little girl when she was there last. So to have us all there together as adults was super fun. So these are the pictures that I'm going to be placing here. And then I'm going to be using these over here. And I am not going to have these on the white. I want them to be directly onto the paper, but I want these to be um, mounted behind the white. So I, I'm okay with them being the true 4x4 format. And then this is my journaling that I did inside. And you know, I love being able to journal and have my story told. And sometimes I like to tuck it in and hide it, and sometimes I'm okay with it being out. So I'm actually going to have it out like that. And then I'm going to use our four pocket, four by four pocket plus pages to add the rest of the butterflies. And I love these, and sadly these are being discontinued and will not be going over to our new venture. So if you like the Pocket Plus, I would encourage you to grab these before they're gone. They fit into a D-ring or a postbound album. And I love how you can continue your story or just add these pictures so that people can still enjoy them and not have to create another double page layout. So what I will be doing is adding some more journaling in here into the center so that um, I can finish telling the story. But now I've got these beautiful pocket plus pages that are gonna go right here inside my album when I get done and then they'll be able to enjoy them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these pictures and I hope you see how versatile this collection is that it's not just Easter, it can be spring. This was actually Mother's Day back in 2022. And it was just such a beautiful spring-like day um, on Mackinac Island. And it was so perfect for us to go and visit the Butterfly House. And I just love these pictures of my sisters and I together. It was a really, really special weekend. For those of you that don't know my story, my younger sister, Amanda, has a permanently disabled daughter, Megan, and she's going to be 11 in December. And my sister really has never been able to go on trips or vacations or leave um, her by herself because she requires 24-hour care. And her husband, her new husband, Matt, decided for Mother's Day to treat her to a weekend away and that's when my sisters and I um, got to go to Mackinac Island together. And we had just so much fun just laughing and watching movies in bed and staying up late and then getting up and going on to Mackinac Island and just spending three days together um, as sisters. And we really don't get to, didn't, haven't had that opportunity in a very long time to do that. So it was really a super special day and special weekend. So Matt, if you're watching this after I get done sharing this, thank you again. As you can see, it was a very memorable time for me, and I know it was very memorable for both Kristen and Amanda too. And you know, that's why I scrapbook. I love to share my stories. I love to preserve them. I want my children, I want my grandchildren to be able to come back and look at these. I want their children to be able to look at these and just remember just how much fun we had together. And I'm gonna tuck this in. I had already secured this down, so I'm just trying to gently lift up the little sticky here. Let me just, yep, there we go. I think that'll do it. And that is one sticky little sticker and the foam tape. I might have to re-glue that down, but that's all right. Okay, and I'm gonna just add some more adhesive on this since I just accidentally tore it. And there we go. 
And then, like I said, this is going to sit right there. I actually might have it, I'll probably have it come over here so that it doesn't cover that up. And there you go. You have seen me now put together two beautiful pages from this workshop. And I just love all the clustering that Dana did. I love how she added the butterflies. I actually put mine on the pattern paper. Hers are on the solid cardstock, but so you, now you have another option of seeing how beautiful these butterflies are and why they're worth getting that card making workshop. So please keep checking back on the website. It is coming back and it's gonna go fast and I don't want you to miss out on them. And then lastly, I just wanna give you a little sneaky peeky of Tina's pages. They are so beautiful. You're gonna do a little bit of ink blending and her clustering are so gorgeous. You are going to love just all of these beautiful accents that she does on her pages. And you get to make four double pages, and some of them are Easter themed, and some of them are just more spring themed. But she did such a beautiful job creating these really fun banners and clusters, and I love the use of the glitter paper as well. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for letting me ramble on a little bit about Honey Bunny. I hope that you come and join us at our Palooza event. And if you have any questions about it, please drop your comments down below. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And if you do have comments, I would love to read them below. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow with another piece of artwork featuring the Stamp of the Month.